All right, I'm gonna solve this problem. It's a little strange, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually move the 12x over. So it becomes 4x squared minus 12x plus nine equals zero. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is subtract nine and you'll see what I'm doing here. So um, we get four x squared minus 12 x equals negative nine. All right, I'm gonna factor out a four here so I get x squared minus three x. And then what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna take half this term and square it so it's three halves squared. So it becomes nine over four. And then uh, what happens is this gets multiplied by the outside here so it's because I need the balance of the equation, so four times this, so it becomes negative nine plus nine. So it gives me zero, so ooh, that kind of works out nice. So I get x uh, actually minus three halves squared equals zero. Take square root of both sides, ooh, that's kind of nice. So I get x minus three halves equals plus or minus zero, or just zero. So ultimately x is gonna be equal to three over two. I guess we can check that really quick. So four times three over two squared plus nine equals 12 times three over two. So this becomes four times nine over four. Um, plus nine equals 18. So these cancel out, it's nine plus nine equals 18 equals 18. So that proves that X equals three halves is our solution, that's it.